In this video, I'll show you how to create a multivariate model with heteroscedasticity robust and clustered standard errors. Heteroscedasticity refers to variance that is correlated with values in the independent variables. Here, I'll show you how to do it. First, I'm going to open a file that contains both continuous and categorical data. This is a data set of students in a psychology class. There are 46 rows corresponding to 46 students. I'm going to build a multivariate model on the points in class based on the GPA, the major, and the section. Section has one of two values, 10 or 11. Major has one of four values, art, English, history, and math. We see here that none of these values is statistically significant, which might make sense since this is a fairly small data set. If I want to turn on robust standard errors and account for potential heteroscedasticity, I'll check the button labeled robust standard errors right here. This increases some of the standard errors slightly, but sometimes it can decrease the standard error. Fixed effects come into play if you have a categorical explanatory variable where the number of categories tends to increase with the number of observations. For example, if we had 4,600 students instead of 46 students, if the number of majors would change, then that might be an appropriate fixed effect. However, we probably won't have 100 times as many majors present, so major might make sense as simply as a categorical explanatory variable. However, something like section would be a good candidate for a fixed effect, since if we have 100 times as many students, we might well have 100 times as many sections present. For this example, I'll use section as a fixed effect. To do so, I'll check the fixed effect button, and then I'll choose section from the drop-down box. Now section is grayed out as an explanatory variable, since it's included as a fixed effect. Notice that the coefficients do not change when I use section as a fixed effect. However, the standard errors are considerably larger. Finally, I can use cluster robust standard errors by checking the clustered checkbox on the bottom right. This estimates the heteroscedasticity within each panel, or in this case within each section. To learn more, I highly encourage you to take an econometrics class, since this stuff can be kind of confusing, but Wizard makes it easy to do. Hope you enjoyed this video.